everyone, this is Logan. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am here drawing with you something that I am more accustomed to drawing. This is more within my style, this is more within what I know how to draw, what I know how to draw well. So I'm pretty happy with this drawing overall. So it's, of course, a girl. She's some kind of eel, underwater snake princess of some kind, I guess. Yeah, I really love her frilly dress. It's so cute. And I managed to add in some nice details that I think I'm usually not able to to my drawings. So I feel pretty good about that. There's still a little bit of exploration with a little bit of not really exploring anything new. But either way, I think I was able to add in some nice cute little details and something that works with watercolor well, I think. The shoes are basically what I always draw, of course, but the dress is a little bit different. I mean, I don't tend to go for these poofy dresses a lot of the time. I tend to go for skirts and a shirt. That tends to be my thing, more casual wear. So here I start off lining. I love lining things like this. I don't know. I love adding in the details and just seeing them pop, pop away from the pencil. It's just... I think this is where I really get to detail this lady. I really get to add in the dress details and make sure that they're very accentuated, make sure that they're actually there. I think they look really good. And I just, I don't know, I think it ended up looking really nice. Overall, I don't think I made any mistakes. Yay! For once! I don't think I made any mistakes. Um. Or at least nothing that I really would count as a mistake, otherwise I would just see it as like a kind of, oh, it happened, oh well. Yes, that, right there. <laughs> oh, it happened, oh well. I accidentally started out the snake's um, tail too far out and then ended it too short. It just didn't work out. Oh my god, I love how these turned out. I love how those little floof, 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 floofs on her dress turned out. I think they look really cute. They turned out adorable. I'm very happy about those. I think overall the bubbles went really well too. Um, I tried to add a lot of bubbles around the area. That way I can fill it in some white space that I usually have in all my paintings. So I added some background color. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either. And here... We are trying out a different angle, and we start with watercoloring. I really, really like this specific color. I use it for like everything. Just this really pretty indigo blue. I don't know the name of it. I'm so sorry. I should probably look at it. But either way, this was a lot of fun doing this angle, doing trying different things. I need to up my video game and try to do different things more often and try to do different angles more often now that I'm actually feeling like my equipment is enough. But either way, back to the drawing. Um, I really, really, really liked how many colors I was able to add into the dress. I think that really made the dress shine very, very brightly and I enjoyed it so much. Her skin color makes me really happy. I think it's kind of like an off yellowy. I don't know. I think the blotchiness of it also ended up looking really nice. It made her look like she has varied skin tone colors instead of like, you know, just straight up skin flat. I don't know. I like that effect. I like the effect of watercolor, like not filling in everything perfectly. And here I try to make the effect of pearls. Um, I do that by just starting out with some blue and adding some pink into it because I thought they would look really cute. But I don't know if they necessarily look like pearls other than like cool discs, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with cool discs. They kind of look a little underwater -y, so that makes me happy. I decided to make most of her dress pink because I really like the pink and blue combination. 
I think it looks really good. I think, I mean, of course, white. I did leave some places white, but shaded them in and all that. The snakes, I don't know what I was doing with the snakes. I didn't know what to do, what to color them with, what to... I didn't know what to do with them, so they kind of just ended up being different colors, and I thought that kind of looked kind of cute. It kind of stood out maybe a little bit too much, but that's okay. I love shading with watercolors. I feel like the way that I color with watercolors is not so normal. Um, I tend to work with a more dry brush than I see most people work with. I like to work with a dry brush because I feel like I have more control over where the color it goes and how flat it lays and how smoothly it goes and instead of water like the pearl, I usually don't do that. And then I start shading her skin. I love shading her skin. I love shading everything around this painting. I think I really managed to add some different colors and like her skin, okay, I didn't add too much there. But then I start taking a purple and I start adding shadows everywhere. There it is. I start taking a purple everywhere and just adding shadows where I think it's needed. And I think it adds a really nice color combination and ties everything together to the purple snakes. I think it ended up looking kind of almost cohesive, which is very, very awesome for me. It looks really good on her skin. I think it makes her look very um, fairy-ish. And I guess that wasn't the look I was going for initially, but... I do like how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.